In this tutorial, we're going to discuss converting a string into an integer. Now, in the last tutorial, we asked the user for their name. We used the input function to allow the user to enter their name. So in our example, the user typed in Jack. We later printed Jack using the variable name. Okay. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user for their age. So I'm going to start off by calling this variable age equals and I'm also going to use the input function once again because I would like the user to enter their age input open my speech marks and my brackets and I'm going to ask them the question how old are you question mark and space now what I would like to do with the age is do some maths with it so I'm going to say, and I'm going to print this off. I'm going to just do age plus five. Now there's going to be a problem with this. And the problem is going to be that I'm going, I'm trying to actually add an integer and a string together. And there is a clash. I'm going to just play this and run this just to show you the type of error that can occur. Jack and how old are you? 22. Press enter. It's given me an error. Okay, so the reason for the error, first of all, is whenever we use the input function, it always returns a string. Even if the user types in two numbers or any number or an integer, it will return it as a string. And we can't do maths with a string which is a problem because we're trying to add 5, which is an integer, to the age, which has been returned to us as a string. So the task or how we resolve that is we have to now convert age from a string into an integer. So the best way to do that is to type in age equals and then use the int function, which is short for integer, open my brackets and type in age again. So what it's doing is it's returning an integer back into age. So now if I print this, so what is your name? Bob, 22. It has added 5 onto 22, which is the maths we needed. Okay. The task I would like you to do, I would like you to create a program which will get the length of the room and the width of the room and work out the area. Now, I would like you to ask the user the length and the width. So you need to think about what functions you're going to use. I would also remind you that when the value is returned, it will be returned as a string. So you're going to have to use the method I've shown you today to work out the area. Okay. I would like you all to attempt a challenge. The task is, I would like you to ask the user for the length of a room and the width of the room. Then use the two inputs to then work out the area and output the area of that room. So you're going to have to think about which function will allow you to get a value from the user. Also remember, you are want, you're going to have to do some maths with those two numbers. Okay, or those two integers. So think about how you're going to convert the string into an integer because by using the input function, it will return it as a string. So you're going to have to use some method to then convert it into an integer. This will prove you, un you have understood all of the challenges or all of the tasks that I have set so far. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial.